students. Today, I'm going to explain coordinates of a point and how to plot a point on a graph sheet. Suppose the point is 3, 4. First number is the x coordinate. That means here the x coordinate is 3. And the second number is the y coordinate. So here the y coordinate is 4. And the another name of x coordinate is abscissa. Also another name of y coordinate is ordinate. So the abscissa is 3 and ordinate is 4. So we can say that the coordinates of the point is 3, 4. Next, how to plot this point on a graph sheet? Before that, let me explain x-axis, y-axis, origin and quadrants. The horizontal line is called the, the x-axis and that is x, x dash is the x-axis. x, x dash is the x-axis. And the vertical line is called the y-axis. That is y, y dash is the y-axis. And the meeting point O is the origin. So OX is the positive X axis. OX dash is the negative X axis. OY is the positive y axis and o y dash is the negative y axis that means this plane or the graph sheet is divided into four parts these four parts are called quadrants And this is the first quadrant. This is the second quadrant. This one is the third quadrant. And this is the fourth quadrant. This plane is called the Cartesian plane. Or XY plane or coordinate plane. These axes are called the coordinate axis. And in the first quadrant, see here, positive x axis and positive y axis are taking in the first quadrant. That means both x coordinate and y coordinate will be positive. One example, 2, 3. 2 is the x coordinate x, that is positive, 3 is the y coordinate that is also positive. Another example, 5, 1. In the second quadrant, that means negative x-axis and a positive y-axis we are taking. So, x-value should be negative, y-value should be positive. One example is negative 2, 1. In the third quadrant, that means negative x-axis and negative y-axis we are taking. So, both x-value and uh, y-value should be negative. One example is negative 1, negative 2. And in the fourth quadrant, that means positive x-axis and negative y-axis we are considering. That means x-value should be positive, y-value should be negative. One example is 3, negative 2. Next, I am going to explain how to plot a point on a graph sheet. With the help of a graph sheet, I am going to explain. First point is... 2, 3. Here both the coordinates are positive. That means the point lies on first quadrant. Here 
x coordinate is 2 so we have to take on x axis we have to take 2 y coordinate is 3 so on y axis we have to take 3 and to draw perpendicular lines and it will meet at a point that point is 2 3 next one negative 4 1 here the x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is positive that means it lies on the second quadrant. So x, on x axis we have to take negative 4 and on y axis we have to take 1. So draw perpendicular lines. It will meet at a point. That point is negative 4, 1. Next, negative 3, negative 4. Here both the quadrants are, both the coordinates are negative so it will lie on third quadrant on x axis negative 3 and on y axis negative 4 we have to take the meeting point is negative 3 negative 4 next one 4 negative 2 on x axis 4 and on y axis negative 2 the meeting point is 4, negative 2, it lies on the 4th quadrant. Next I am going to take 0, 5. That means the value of x is 0 and value of y is 5. It lies on value of y is 5. That means it lies on y axis. This point is 0, 5. Another one. I am going to take the x value as negative 6 and the y value as 0. That means on x axis negative 6 will come and y coordinate is 0. That means this point is negative 6, 0. Another one, 6, 0. That means on x axis 6, y coordinate is 0. So this point is 6, 0. If the x coordinate is 0, the point lies on y axis. If the y coordinate is 0, the point lies on x axis. And another one, 0, 0. 0, 0 means it is the origin. This point is 0, 0. Hope you understand it well. Thank you.